Welcome to the Informatica video channel. My name is David Anantarajan. In this video, we will learn how records are assigned when using Hub Console's Merge Manager. We will look into how records are assigned by Merge Manager, the queries that are used for the assignment of the records, and how to use queries to restrict the assignment of merge candidates to a user. Merge Manager Overview. All records that has a consolidation indicator of two in the base object are candidates to be assigned. In addition, any row ID object that is in the match table, that is BO MTCH table, with the consolidation indicator of four in the base object is also a candidate. Assigned records are stored in C repos user merge assignments table. You can use the row ID table, row ID user, and row ID object columns to identify the table, the user, and the row ID object that was assigned to a particular user. If you have any conditions, say party type is equal to person in the merge package, it is not enforced during the assignment, assignment itself, but is only enforced during the display. In our walkthrough, we will see how to restrict the assignment of records based on some conditions. Now let's go through a demo. In the workbench, go to Merge Manager. You will first have to use the, select the base object. In this case, I will be using the party table. I'm using the MDM sample schema. Uh, for pre-951, it will be SIP sample schema. And then you'll have to select the merge package. In this case, I'll be using the PKG person package. Display package is something you can use to restrict the columns that are displayed to a data steward. For example, in this case, you might choose to display only the merge columns or the match columns. If you Generally, this is merge package itself is the display package, but if you want to restrict it, you will have to create another package based on the package that is being used for the merge package. There is a KB article, article for this. We will look at it later. There are already assigned records. You can clear them by using the clear, clear assigned records. As you can see, I have one record assigned. I'm going to use that to clear it. Using this, you can control the number of records that are going to be assigned for this user. With the query, you can restrict the assignment of the records itself. We will look into that in the next demo. But now we will use none, which means it will just use the regular query. Page sizes, which you can uh, set the number of rows to be displayed. Now let's go and look at the records that are present in the table. Remember in the second slide we saw that uh, the merge candidates are records with consolidation indicator of two in the base object. So if you can see here I have two of them. I have row ID object 79 and 301, both of party type organization. And in the match table I have another record, 972, row ID object 972. And if you were to look at the consolidation indicator of 972, it'll be so two conditions, which is either of the two, two conditions. One is consolidation indicator of two in the base object and any record in the match table, which has a consolidation indicator of four. So in this case, we would expect the merge assignment to assign three records. Now, if we go to the assignment itself, the PKG person package has a condition where it says person type is equal to, I'm sorry, party type is equal to person only. Let's go through the assignment by itself. So as you can see, it displays only one record of party type of person. That's because the display package had the condition where it said party type is equal to person. But if you go and look at the C repos merge assignment table and check the party type of the objects that were assigned, you would see that there were three records assigned, two with organization and one with person. So although the person is the one that is displayed, all three of the records are assigned. And once these records are assigned and they are present in the merge assignments table, it cannot be assigned to any other user. In the next part of our demo, we will see how we can, in fact, restrict the assignment itself to party type of person. And if you remember, we can restrict it by using a query. In this case, I'll use the person query, which has the restriction of party type of person. Let's click 
clear the assigned record and do the merge again. So again, now you see only one record is displayed in the file with file type of person. Let's go and look at this repost merge assignments table itself. And you can see it only assigned the person type record. This is particularly useful if you are using localization. And if, uh, for instance, you want the French data stewards to look at only the French data, you can use uh, the query to restrict the assignment of only French and the French merge candidates to French data stewards. In summary, in this video, we saw how merge records are assigned while using the Hub Console's merge manager and also how we can restrict the assignment of records to a particular type. In this case, we saw person, a party type of person. Uh, for additional information, you can look into a data steward's guide. Uh, this KB121815 gives you details about how to create a display package. I hope this session was helpful. In case you have any questions or concerns, please contact us. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.